As we dive further into sizing and selecting mechanics, there's a couple terms that are extremely important in understanding the requirements of an application, and they center around the precision requirements for the application. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. A customer will typically say that they need precision of some sort, but there's a couple different types of precision that kind of fall under that umbrella. So let's start with resolution. Resolution is the smallest amount of distance that you can move or command. So if you look at this travel and the micrometer driving this stage, the smallest little bit is the resolution that you can actually move or command this actuator to go. But that's a far cry from what you can actually effectively use in an application. Repeatability the definition is the precision with which a positioner can reproduce a given movement over a number of attempts. I'll explain this a little bit more, but it's how repeatably you can go to the same location. Accuracy is the difference between where you command the actuator to go versus the actual location it goes to, and there's going to be some error between them. We'll, again, dive into this a little bit further. Classic dartboard, commonly used in discussing the repeatability versus accuracy. The very first dartboard there shows results that are not accurate and they're not repeatable. The second one shows accurate because they're centered around the bullseye, but they're not repeatable because we're not repeatably hitting the bullseye. The third one, it's repeatable because they're all clumped together up there in the corner, but it's not accurate because we're not hitting the bullseye. The fourth one is repeatable and accurate because we're hitting the bullseye pretty repeatably. Here's another way of looking at it. The resolution of this actuator is the smallest amount that it can be actually moved. But repeatability is how you can repeatably go to the same location. But it has to be the same location. So if you're talking about discrete locations along an actuator, you can talk about repeatably hitting those discrete locations. But if you want to look at an infinite number of locations along a travel, you have to talk about accuracy. It's how accurate can you go to any one of an infinite number of locations. And there's the comparison against the dartboards. Keep in mind that each of these measurements are taken at a point of measurement, which is typically some distance above the carriage. Now, you can't put a load really right on the carriage unless it's a piece of paper, but usually there's some load. And so there's that assumption. Maybe it's an inch, 25 millimeters, maybe it's two inches above the carriage, but there's some point of measurement that's taken. And that's where that uh, piece is moved along the travel. So as it moves, there may be some Abbe offset errors, which you can have some angular offset. There's a pitch error and there's an angular error there. So if that actually has some pitch and yaw to it and roll as it goes along the movement because it's not perfect, that point an inch or two above the carriage is going to have a little bit of Abbe offset error. So how does that affect it? As you go along the travel of an actuator, along the straightness, you're going to get some motion back and forth, just a small amount. And the flatness, you're going to get some up and down. And it's going to be aggravated by being that inch or two off the carriage. Orthogonality is another term that we have to use if we're talking about an X, Y, or you know, a Y, Z axes, two axes that are placed on top of each other. We can't put them perfectly on top of each other and have them perfectly square. There's going to be some orthogonality. And if you want it super, super tight to be as square as possible, that's going to be harder to do than if you just slap two actuators together. So the orthogonality is a spec we discuss. When we're looking at rotational stages, rotary axes, there's a concentricity. That red circle there shows the perfect circle, but the green one is the actual travel path. The difference between the two of them is the concentricity. And run out, if you're looking at that same rotational stage from the side, it may not be perfectly flat. Nothing is perfect, 
Therefore, it has some ro run out as it rotates. It's going to have that, uh, that change in vertical position as it goes around the circle. It's also going to have some wobble as it goes around. It's going to have that wobble back and forth. So there's some basic terminology about precision, specifically the repeatability and accuracy. Those are very important. I discuss the differences between those with customers all the time because one is much harder to attain than others.